What's up guys, Desh here again. I've got another video. Welcome back. I bet you're tired at this point in your ARC experience of having to eat cooked meat, cooking meat, and going to run for water, fill your canteen every like 30 minutes depending on where you live. So we're gonna solve that today. We're gonna go over crafted superfoods. And it's uh, fairly simple. Uh, essentially, you come on over to a cooking pot you craft a note, which is one fiber and three thatch, easy. It doesn't have to have anything written on it. You plop it in a cooking pot right here. And then you'll have this option, make recipe. Now, you can make tons of custom recipes and I'll put a link down below to a bit of a, there's a generator for the equation, which I'll put on screen here. It's a pretty interesting. Hopefully I remember to do that. <laughs> but uh, you make all kinds of recipes. We're gonna start off by making some Red Bull. <laughs> so what I do for that generally, put some of this in here. Actually, I don't really need that. But essentially, go ahead, make recipe. And you've got two options. You got food, and you got drink. Uh, health and stamina is something that is on both outcomes though they go up so slow it's, it's I'm not gonna say it's useless but I don't really concern myself with it now let's make some Red Bull so select drink and that'll make whatever you put in the recipe go towards your water stat refill in that so then you've got a few options you've got uh, color regions but first you want to choose one of these. I'm going to go with a cup because I normally do. And what color region is this? Ah, right, right. Okay, we're going to make this red. That is not what I meant to do. That looks pretty good. Then we'll make... Make this kind of blue. And yeah, that looks like a pretty good color. So then you call this Red Bull. Oops. And you can change the description as well. Uh, get them wings. I don't know if they still do that. Marketing. But okay, that's the gist of it. You can customize your heart's content kind of over here. And that'll be what it looks like as the recipe comes out. But then what matters is you'll see over here on the left available great ingredients anything here can be put into the recipe even element dust but now we need to step back because we're gonna waste our time and resources if we make a recipe right now in our current state we're gonna drink a mind wipe tonic which you can also make in the cooking pot right there drink a mind wipe tonic now this resets all of our engrams, all of our stats. As you can see, I've got a few ascensions and a maxed out chibi, so I've got a lot of levels. Um, then what you're gonna do, once you're at this point, see this crafting skill? You're just gonna pump into that all your points. You might wanna keep some depending on what server you're on, but on Sarko you can mind wipe to your heart's content, which is kinda convenient. Oh boy, this, I haven't done this in a long time. This is also how you want to like craft blueprints and stuff. Wow, this is going to be high. Okay, so high level character, 1520 crafting skill. And, oh, I should have put some weight in. Shoot. All right. It does not remove the tech engrams, thankfully, when you do that, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, now I can open this. make recipe BAM we're gonna do the same thing again alright so then what I like to do when I'm making a drink I just like to toss in oh no I can't split oh there we go <laughs> alright we'll drag 31 over here and then we'll just slowly I like to put in about 40 tinto berries myself personally for a drink and this worked really great when I was like a lot lower level, like around level 100, and I went to crafting speed, or all crafting skill. 
Now this will probably do pretty well at my crafting level, but I also like, if possible, to toss element dust in there. About 10, because this boosts stuff pretty nicely. So now we just make recipe. It doesn't use up this and it tosses the recipe into our inventory. All right, now if you look, crafting skill 14.20 and it gives us 235 water. So if we look at the formula that somebody deduced over on Reddit there, there's a lot of stuff going on there. But thankfully there's a calculator. Now, the crafting skill, if we made that same same recipe with 10 element dust at a crafting skill of 100, that would have gave us 13 water. So, big waste of resources for barely any return. Once we got that higher crafting skill, we get a much better return on our resources. At 235 water for a few berries and some dust? Hell yeah. And then the same works for food. I'm going to show you a little trick though. Alright, so I'm going to show you a little trick here. You take the focal chili, drink some of that. It won't show that it raises your crafting skill because technically it doesn't. When you're making blueprints and whatnot, that won't work. Uh, but when we're making food, we're just going to make the same thing. Red Bull 2. Oh, excuse me. Hold on. Looks like some of our berries were removed from us. So we're going to make the same thing. Red Bull 2. Won't go through customizing it. Make recipe. Now, as you can see, it's the crafting skill on this is 15.2. And on the one that we made before, 40, 14, excuse me, 0.20. So, you look at the water, 251, 235. That's a lot of extra water. For 15 points of a more water when you drink this bad boy just because we drank a focal chili beforehand so obviously considering you don't mind wipe into crafting often it's worth having one if you're gonna bother and then you can do the same thing with food but what I like to do for food um, leave the dust in here and I go back over here I was a little overweight which giving me some issues I like to literally just oh, come on. Now again, high crafting skill makes a difference. But what I like to do is either I like to take an egg, egg, sal, <laughs> and look at that. About the same food uh, as the water we got on our drink up here. In fact, even more. Or, I like to take a cooked prime meat if I got it. But obviously dodo eggs, I mean, you get tons of those, right? You might as well start doing this as soon as you can. And then we'll go with uh, meat salad, sure. <laughs> Bam, look at that. Enough food to fill you up and a little bit more, but not as good as just having a dodo egg and some dust. Also, as you can see, I just double clicked on that and it says it was still there. That is because, for whatever reason, to this day, still making a, a crafting thing or a crafted food recipe kind of bugs it out. Now we're gonna go over something a little fun. We add, take this dust out. We just add a polymer. You can use feces or you know anything that you wouldn't probably want to eat. You add that in here to make a recipe. Make a, uh, we'll make. Uh, <laughs> Make some purple drink. Cause somebody did this to me once. Look at that. Negative water and health and stamina. That was just with one organic polymer. So if you had like a hundred of these or a hundred spoiled meat or something, they're gonna die pretty fast. <laughs> so yeah, that is essentially what you go ahead and do to make sure, like as you can see, I put them away because I'm overweight, but I normally definitely just carry around some crafted food. We got Rockstar Monster over here <laughs> and Ambrosia. 
food of the golds. I mean, look at that. That gives 528 food. I don't even know what it was put in there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we can get similar effects easily with the calculator that I've got linked down below, but it, it's just... You, why not do this? Now that you know, go ahead, show your tribe mate, be like, yo, look, I'm gonna make some hot dogs, make some glizzies, you know? Do, do something fun with this information and uh, hand it to them. And once they realize what you've done for them, they'll be so excited. Now, real quick though, I'm gonna show you something with this Red Bull. Toss it in this industrial cooker and turn it on. There you go. It just keeps running. Now, obviously, we do the same thing in a uh, cooking pot. I think. Oh, yeah, you need water for that, so I'm too lazy for that. Uh, you just add, like, a canteen or something. Those things that I don't use anymore because I know how to do this. I'm going to throw this away before somebody uses it. But yeah, look at that. That's 11, how much water does this give again? So that's a, a little over two drinks of water per drink, right? And I think it, it, now people have told me and it seems to be true that the water just keeps going up. Like if you eat like 10 stacks of berries, your food's just gonna keep going up. It seems to be the same case with crafted food when it has more points than a hundred you just kind of you don't have to worry about food for as long so that's kind of that's epic but now look at this it's like almost two and a half drinks of water or bars full of water for your average leveled person 100 points each right now look above how much the water is on this you see that spoil time two days that alone and if you put it in a fridge it'll last it's like is gonna last a, forever I have like not as long as kibble but you know feels like as long as kibble so you have food that doesn't spoil it's effective and if you toss in some poison and somebody raises you and takes your food and then they drink the poison oh well you give them a bad day in the future you know what I mean so that's that um, Definitely got a link to that down below. It'll have extra information. This adventure of chefdom in there, but it'll definitely you'll want to try out that calculator. See what crafting skill you can get, because not everybody's level 143. They're not gonna have a 1520 crafting skill. But even still, every level you can get saves you resources. All right. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and check out another video. Hit subscribe. Uh, you see that that link will be down below the subscribe button. You can maybe hit it on your way down. But yeah, tell me what epic or hilarious names you've put on your food. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.